Welcome to the Bishop's Broadcast. We're so glad that you joined in tonight. Thank you so much. If you can, do me a favor. Please hit the share button and like this. Let us know that you're here and comment on the uh, broadcast this evening. We've had a wonderful week. Monday night, Reverend Marvin Hill uh, spoke to us. Uh, Tuesday night, Reverend Kamisi Jordan. Wednesday night, Pastor E. Last night was uh, Sister Lewis. She done such a wonderful job. And tonight, uh, we have uh, Brother Rodney Badley, uh, Minister Rodney Badley. And uh, tomorrow night is uh, Reverend Jack Anderson. He'll be speaking also. But we got a couple announcements to make real quick. Don't forget that we have uh, Parking Lot Church that is coming up this Sunday. Uh, we get, ask you to be here at 1030. Please park where they ask you to do that, and it will be a great blessing to you. And uh, we've had a wonderful, wonderful time. Also, we want to let you know that uh, we have t-shirts for sale. They're $10 a piece. Um, they are uh, Racism is a Sin and I Am Revival. And uh, they're, they go to the building fund also. Then we want you to know that we have our aprons and masks that are for sale. The aprons are 20 and 30 for licensed merchandise, and uh, the mask are $5. If you want to order one, please put it on here. Got a big announcement. Revival is coming up the first Sunday in June. We're having Old Fashioned Day. We're having a parking lot church that Sunday and dinner on the grounds. They're making chicken and dumplings and soup beans and cornbread and fried chicken and all these different types of food. We ask that you'd wear your uh, old-fashioned gear. I got my bib overalls ready. Uh, Brother Tone's going to be doing free pictures for families, and we're not going to have no evening service. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm going to be preaching revival here at our church. And all of our ministries that minister during the services are going to be ministering, and we are looking forward to that. And uh, we are thanking God for that. I uh, want to uh, give you a special announcement here. Uh, this Sunday will be our last Sunday in the parking lot. Uh, Mother's Day, uh, we're coming back into the sanctuary and we're going to have service. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited about this, uh, our church coming back in. I want you to know that uh, we'll be taking precautions and uh, we'll be passing out our plan on Sunday to give you how we're going to do that. If you don't feel comfortable still, we ask that you watch online, but we're going to get back into uh, the service and to in-person service. We're going to practice social distancing as good as we can, but we are exempt from the order. I've had people call all day because they heard that the order was extended, but uh, the church is exempt from that. Even the 10 people uh, order, it is exempt from it. So um, we want you to know that we're coming back and uh, we have prayed about this. We have met with our leadership and this is what we have decided to do. And we have a plan of action. So we want you to know Sunday, you can get that plan. We'll give it to you. And we're taking every uh, reason we can. So next week on Thursday and Friday after 5 o'clock, we're asking those that will come and help us and do a deep cleaning in the church. We're already going to start doing it uh, this week some. But uh, next week we're going to do a deep cleaning of the church and so that everything can be ready for what we're doing. We're not going to have no... Uh, children's classes or in-person classes right away, but then it'll eventually come. So that's our big announcement. We want you to know that it's still on. And like I said, if you don't feel comfortable coming, that's fine. But my leadership, those that are over there, we expect you to be here um, if possible, unless you are sick. Uh, everybody that is over everything. So we thank you so much for that. Also, I uh, want you to know that we love you and that we appreciate you so much for all that you're doing. Please continue to give and support the ministry. We're going to go right now to hear Brother Rodney Badley teach to us tonight and speak to our hearts. Share this broadcast. Let everybody know we're on and we'll be able to uh, be a blessing to you tonight. God bless you is my prayer. Okay. Good evening. My name is Rodney Badley. I'm one of the ministers at the Aston Wall Church. Today, I'd like to do just a, a devotional pertaining to the times that we are in and the trials that we're facing currently. What's happening with us in today's world? We have seen or been through hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, malaria, AIDS, flu, Ebola, etc. This is just to name a few that man has not created. As life continues and we as man continue to increase in knowledge, 
and science, we are continually challenged with disasters and disease primarily of our own doing. As time goes on, these events become more violent and more deadly during each occurrence and outbreak. The latest disaster is the pandemic, COVID-19. This pandemic, or plague if you will, has caused widespread illness and death. Many have said we're in war with this pandemic, but we must not be afraid if we have faith in our Lord and Savior. In the book of Psalms 27, King David wrote about fear of enemies and war whether it be man or nature. King David faced many perilous times, including personal attacks, family betrayal, war, sickness, and death. He understood the feeling of fear yet responded with confidence. As Christians, we will be faced with, with different adversities and different times in our life. And some of them, if not all of them, will be quite frightening. As we face adversaries, adversities, we must know who our hope. We must know who is our hope. The scriptures state they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and signs shall flee away. Isaiah 35 10. We must know who is our light of the world. The scriptures state, I am the light of the world. He who follows me should not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John 8, 12. The scripture states, we must know who our potter is. You are the potter and we are the work of your hand. Isaiah 64, 8. And we must know who our rock is. Scripture states, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust. We often cannot choose our circumstances, but we can choose how we respond to them. In Psalm 27, Scripture lets us know four things we can be confident in. Psalms 27, one to three, lets us know we can be confident in God's person. It reads, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Who war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. It continues in Psalms 27, 4. It lets us, lets us know who, can, who we can be confident in God's protection. It lets us know we can be confident in God's protection, actually. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. In addition, Psalms 27, five to 12, lets us know we can be confident in God's pity. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high up on the rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me. Or forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and I and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path. 
because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For false witness have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. And also to end in Psalms 27, 13, and 14, and this is probably one of the most um, purposeful scriptures for what's going on today. It lets us know we can be confident in God's purpose. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So we ask ourselves some questions at this time. Do you think your confidence in God is strengthened more in times of comfort or in times of crisis? Where is your focus in the time of crisis? When do, you, when do you read your Bible? Are you reading it more this week than you did in the past? What we can be assured of is this. As we face these difficult times, our trust should be in God. He's our doctor with the cure to whatever we may be faced with. As I close, I leave with this. Trust God. Just trust him and trust him now. Amen.